I saw an organisation that needed to change, that needed to become more responsive uh, to its members. And primarily, um, my thoughts around this came on the back of the Windsor 1, Windsor 2 um, review into police paying conditions. Um, and I saw, um, certainly as a national rep, and being involved in, in uh, some of the debates and the conversations that took place around our ability to respond to the Tom Windsor reports, I saw an organisation that was trying very, very hard, but because of the way that it was structured, sometimes um, had difficulty in meeting the needs of the members and being able to respond as quickly as possible to a, what was a fast moving, um, changing policing landscape. Um, and indeed, since being elected chair, it's been um, my role really um, to, 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 to be uh, the figurehead of the organisation that is reforming and changing. Um, and we've come quite a long way in the last two years. Um, we're almost at the end of the reform uh, and change process, but there is still plenty of work to do. Um, it wasn't that long ago that the Police Federation didn't really have a relationship with government or with MPs at all. And yet I think uh, a lot of that has changed. Um, that's not to say that we agree with everything that the MPs and the politicians say to us. And so we need to make sure that we can evidence our arguments that we can represent the views of our members in an authoritative and evidenced way in order to win the arguments in terms of better paying conditions for police officers, better conditions for the police service and a more efficient organisation.